The American lion has captured the curiosity of the human population for years and leaves us wondering, what if it still roamed America today? In today's video, we'll take a look at the evolution of this animal, as well as how it lived and eventually became extinct. Please enjoy. Panthera atrox, better known as the American lion, is an extinct panther and cat that lived in North America during the Pleistocene and early Holocene epoch, about 340 to 11,000 years ago. It was larger than the modern lion, making it one of the largest known felids. The body length of the American lion is estimated to have been between 5 and 8 foot, and it would have stood 3 foot at the shoulder, meaning it was smaller than its contemporary predator, the short-faced bear, which was the largest carnivore of North America at the time. The American lion was not as heavily built as Smilodon populator either. Recent studies on the American lion showed the average weight for males being 256 kg and 351 kg for the largest specimen analysed. About 80 American lion individuals have been recovered from Librea tar pits in Los Angeles, so their morphology is well known. Their features strongly resemble those of modern lions, but they are considerably larger, similar to the Pleistocene Natadamiri of eastern Africa. Preserved skin remains found with skeletal material thought to be from the American lion in caves in Argentina indicate that the animal is a reddish colour. Cave paintings from El Cibo in the Santa Cruz province of Argentina seem to confirm this and reduce the possibility of confusion with fossil jaguars, as similar cave paintings accurately depict the jaguar as yellow in colour. During the last ice age, lions were widespread, living in Africa, Europe, Asia and North America giving them one of the largest ranges of any mammal. The American lion spread from Alberta to Maryland, reaching as far south as Chiapas, Mexico. Today we can find their fossilised footprints left on the Alkali Flat, the remains of ancient Lake Otero. It was generally not found in the same areas as the jaguar, which favoured forests instead of open habitat. It was absent from East Canada and Northeast United States, perhaps due to the presence of dense boreal forests in the region. The American lion inhabited savannas and grasslands, like modern lions. In some areas of their range, American lions lived under the cold climate conditions. They may have used caves for shelter from the cold weather in those areas, and might have lined their dens with grass or leaves as the modern Siberian tiger does. The speed and the bulk of these animals help them catch large prey. African lions can run at high speeds, but they are not built for prolonged chases and will often give up the chase if a prey animal quickly outpaces them. The American lion, although larger than the African, still had proportionately short legs that would have enabled it to reach top speeds fast. However, it would have limited its ability to keep pace with longer-legged animals like horses, which could use their wider striding distance to run even faster. This means that the only way the American lion could effectively hunt was to use ambush tactics to surprise its prey so that by the time the target realised it was in danger, the lion was already making its strike. American lions likely preyed on deer, horses, camels, tapirs, American bison, mammoths and other large toothed animals. Evidence for predation on bison by American lions is particularly strong as a mummified carcass named Blue Babe was discovered in Alaska with a clear bite and claw mark from lions. Based on the largely intact nature of the carcass, it probably froze before the lions could devour it. Although African lions could be seen hunting in groups called prides today, it is not certain if American lions did. In fact, evidence from the Rancho Librea tar pit in California may suggest that American lions was a solitary hunter. The tar pits of Rancho Librea have yielded a wealth of different fossil remains, with by far the most numerous being direwolves and smilodon while other carnivores like the short-faced bear and the American lion are in much smaller quantities by comparison. A 2009 study of African predators may have discovered the reason for this. Scientists played the sound of animals in distress, as if they were stuck in mud, out to the surrounding landscape. The team found that while large animals that hunted in packs had the lowest populations in the ecosystem, they were the most likely to respond to the calls. 
individual predators, however, tended to keep their distance, perhaps to stay out the way of the larger predators that they knew were coming. There are a few ideas that came to the theory that American lions were solitary hunters. One of them is that American lions were not that common compared with the competition like Smilodon and other predators. It may also be the case that the American lions in La Brea were individuals that had been kicked out of the pride and was left with little choice but to try and scavenge the carcass in the tar pit. Today, prides of African lions are ruled by one dominant male, but periodically this male will have to fight other roaming males that will challenge the male for control of the pride and the right to mate with the females. It is also worth considering that the American lion may have also had a different behaviour in approaching stuck animals at La Brea, with perhaps one lion walking ahead of the others to test the ground. If the lion made it to the stuck animal and seemed to be okay, the others would follow. But if the forward lion became stuck, the others would stay back, their core survival instincts holding them back from placing themselves in danger. One final note about the possibility of the American lion hunted in packs is actually associated with the Eurasian cave lion. In European cave art left behind by early people, the Eurasian cave lion is depicted as hunting in groups. With the American lion considered an offshoot of the Eurasian cave lion, it's reasonable to infer a greater possibility of this lion hunted in prides. There is evidence of humans manipulating and modifying American lion bones to make various tools and decorations. This suggests that humans could have hunted these lions, or perhaps they simply found a lion that could have already died. A mammoth carcass killed by an American lion, stolen by humans and butchered for its meats and hides, was discovered, and suggests that humans could have outcompeted these animals and contributed to their extinction. The American lion went extinct along with most of the Pleistocene megafauna during the Quaternary Extinction Event. The most recent fossil, from Edmonton, dates to 11,355 years ago. American lion bones have been found in trash heaps of Paleolithic Native Americans, suggesting that human predation contributed to its extinction. A combination of human arrival in the Americas and climate change drove this amazing animal to extinction. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed and wish to see more, then please like and subscribe. Also leave a comment for any video suggestions you might have. Thank you.